Welcome back to the channel, Fishing Freaks. It's been a grind today. I've been doing a tournament against AP Bassin, AKA Alex Perrick, up in the Northland right now. We're doing a virtual tournament. What a doozy. Uh, I've only had like five fish. I've had a lot of short strikes. A little bit of a marina pattern. Some fish in the brush and whatnot, but just one of those rough and tumble days where the lake is high and then you're trying to figure it out. If this was like dead summer, I'd be gone. I'd be Gonersville. But it's still a nice day and I think I'm gonna try a little bit to catch a few more fish. See if I can teach y'all a little something. Maybe I'll learn something. And then we can transpute it. Transpute it, word of the day. And then we gotta go home, check on little baby Emery. See what the fam's doing. Get some leftover chili and relax for a minute. Take you guys along for the ride as I always do. Usually, most of the time. It's been a little hectic since baby came along. But I'm here, you're here. Let's have a good time, let's do some fishing. So basically what has transpired today is um, some swim bait action. And I also just tied on a, uh, a fluke. I mean, we're going Shadville. I caught some on a spinner bait. Um, having a problem catching fish on the bottom right now. Let me know in the comments if you've been fishing, what the dealio has, has been for Texas or anywhere else that has floodwaters right now because God, I mean, absolute drill shop right there. First cast with you guys, maybe your good luck. But that has happened multiple times to me today where I get bamboozled on that swim bait and then I can't get them on a follow-up bait. You know, I'm throwing this, uh, this white flute, just twitching it, letting it sink a little bit on a 3.30 second. A little sink job, and it's just not happening. It's like they want it pretty quick. They want it moving. It's, it's a reaction bite, 100%. And I think what's happening here is because the waters come up, it's high. This is a consistent thing for these fish. These tires are always here. You know, the marinas are always here. They just kind of go up and down with the water level, they're floating. And there's tons of new brush up in the shallows. It's just a lot harder to dissect. Keep covering some water. Wow, that's a loud airplane. Hello from American Airlines inside the cockpit. It's the only thing about being in the city fishing, you gotta deal with, you gotta deal with airplanes flying over. It's not peaceful like the Canadian wilderness. Y'all do decide to ever to fish some marinas or some tires or something like that. All this man-made stuff. Be sure to watch out for nasty structures like these chains and this uh, I-beam situation that I'm currently sitting around. Um, so no taco bueno on the old trolling motor or your fiberglass. Ah, I guess I'm gonna just pick up the swim bed again and continue to get struck and not actually get fish on it, or maybe I will. Here's what I have done. I put some juice on there. Where's that juice? Dadgummit. Never tried it before. The crevices, crevices, says, I cannot talk today. Crevasses of these tires and marinas and everything. That's, that's the deal. And I think it has to do with points this time of year, fall fishing, all about those points. Oh, I just had one chasing it right there. 12 incher, nothing to get too excited about. Little ambush points, edge of this tire, it's a point. Edge of a dock, it's a point. All right, so here's the cast right here. Bam, that's the deal. It's gonna come across that edge, little ambush situation. Oh God. I mean, what the heck is happening here? Two bites so far with you guys. Oh, that is a big turtle. That is a big slider turtle right there if I've ever seen one. I mean, you're sitting on poop, hope you know. Other than that, that'd be a great photo moment. That's bold. That's when you know a turtle's old. He's like, come on, punk. come on in here. God, one's eating it right now. Tapped it. Gotta be kidding me, man. Bit my tail off. Just grabbing the tail. Who does that? It's like something a social justice warrior would do. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is unbelievable how hard they're hitting it. Holy cow, that got thrashed. 
No doubt they like that swim bait. No go on the little crank. Finally, we get one. Oh, these guys are fighting strong today. Up in the slips. Nice. That's my first marina fish of the day. That was like my fifth bite though. Most of them are on the shade line. Bird, I don't remember you being here uh, last time I was here. Okay, I did nothing to you. I apologize. You're obviously injured and I've upset you. Poor little guy. Well, I hope you make it. I'm not sure I want to grab you with that pointy little pecker you got there. Oh, what you got right here? Hey, chill. I had to stop and get something to eat, guys. I was dying. It's all that fish catching, you know? You catch all those fish, you just, you really start to get hungry. That's what it is. Actually, I kind of thought for old time's sake, I would roll up till Sneaky Pete's and have me a nice, just juicy burger. There's not many lakes that you can uh, pull up to a restaurant with your boat, you know? Just ride up to the bank and drop the poles and then get you a, a nice bite to eat. That stage back there, uh, 2007, I won a National Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship uh, with my partner for Texas A&M University. It was actually flooded the year that we won too, so just kind of like, you know what, I'm going to breeze back through here and just tap into the memory bank. It's nice. It's good times. Yeah. There you go. That guy's feeling it over there. King of the world. I'll try some main link brush for a minute. Simple fact is these fish are just suspended They're hard. Nobody likes suspended fish. They're always harder to catch. This was land a week ago. Is that, is that insane or what? Oh, give me that. Give me that bait back, Mr. Tree. Give me that bait back. You don't really want it. Yeah, there we go. I've never met a bass that doesn't like a chartreuse and white spinner bait. Oh. Bush, do you really want this spinnerbait? You're gonna tell me right now you want this spinnerbait. You wanna hang on to it? Please, come on. There you go. Is this a carp? Carp, what's happened to you? Not having a good day. Wow, it's two animals I've seen that are just not having good days. I got another spot in mind. Yeah, hey buddy, you must be lost. I've never seen one of these guys in a marina before. They are gorgeous. Your mallard friends are over here. Look how pretty that wood duck is. Awesome little creatures. See ya, stay away from flare. Turns out this other set of tires is a no-go. Totally sucks. Nothing going on here. Not what I was hoping for. I gotta head back across the lake. My trolling motor's dying. I am on E again, sadly to say. I had a quarter tank when I showed up to the lake. I must have got lost in competition mode with AP Bassin. This happened more times in this boat than ever in my other boats all combined. Let me just make sure that this marina behind me has some gas. That would be a godsend. This is bad because I've got this sucker almost on full blown and it's still not, uh, still not giving me what I want. And it doesn't make any sense. I charged it last night. Blue birder of a day now. I think that's think that's good for bass fishing right there? Blue burger? I don't think so. No buenos all around. There are worse things that I could be doing right now. Besides, the longer I'm out here, the less dirty diapers I have to change at home today. Sorry, OSG. You know, I've run into three fans out here today. Um, sure it'd be nice to run into one right now. Well, good times. That little dock thing over there is where we're going. We still got a minute. Time to fill her up. Oh man, you got? Yeah, does this machine work? Yeah. 
Thank God I ran out of gas way out there. It's about to be a real bad deal. Did we get any bites? Uh, not over here. There you go. Thank you, Jesus. I would just like to take a moment. Come on now. Yes. I would just like to take a moment to thank the kind gentleman at Sam's Dock for helping me out right there. I think I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Sometimes I, I have a little bit too much faith and then everything is gonna work out, maybe. Maybe I don't. Usually it does though, I gotta say. We made it in, we tried hard. Y'all, it just wasn't happening. At least I caught some this morning in the competition. It just wasn't good, at least you know I'm not, I'm not lying out here. I'm not, not putting fish, fish in barrels and uh, making movies. And we did get something on our windshield. So let's check it out. It looks like it's from a fishing freak. Here we are, little receipt. Looks like from O'Reilly's. Used that, very, uh, very useful. Hey Justin, we're big fans and love all the vids. Keep it up. Keep catching Mondos. He puts FF with an exclamation mark. PJ and Liam, it looks like. Um, put in vid, please. <laughs> Well, you guys made it. Um, thank you for all the support. This lake in Grapevine, I get the most, most FFs. This is my home stopping grounds. Today was, was no different. I think there was a total of four, four or five of y'all. So thank you. Um, I love it. I love talking to y'all. I even ha uh, met a guy this morning. Kevin was his name. He had some Guggen baits and I signed some Guggen baits. Fan encouragement, I love it. That right there, y'all, that's, that's like dreams come true. It was just a great day to be in the fishing community. I'll say that because fishing today was not amazing. Now it's time to head home to the girls. Something wrong with battery four. Boats stand for break out another thousand, no matter how new or old. Not saying that's a mega problem, but you know, it's just how things work. Well, hello. What are you it, up to? It's my, one of my girls. One of them. The other one is sound asleep. Is she really? She's being good? Well, she had a rough day. She had to get her uh, heel pricked. Oh, no. And it was the saddest thing. Oh, no. I'm kind of glad you weren't there for that. You were, Did you cry? I was about to. Little honey buns, are you okay in here? Yeah, you're zonked out. Salad for me. You're going with a salad situation, salad shooter. Some green stuff. You are what you eat when you're a baby drinking milk. My milk might be green. The leftover milk. Oh, there it's it is. The door. There it is. There it is. There's the milk. Uh, I wasn't actually going to show it, but it popped into the screen. It's very strange. <laughs> Don't want to put that one in your Wheaties in the morning. I'm now going to sit on the back porch. I'm going to contemplate the next bite or the next thing, the next outdoor activity. Opening day of archery season been preparing for that. Just got to figure out where I'm going to hunt. been getting quite a few requests from you fishing freaks out there. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I would love to get OSG on a deer, actually. Uh, like a, a recovery deer, you know, like post-pregnancy deer. I don't know. Uh, it's just something I think about. And I would love to get my first big buck. I've never gotten a big buck. This year, I think I'm going to try to make it happen. And I'm going to go ahead and spill the beans on this but I've been working on the second edition make every cast count shirt and uh, it is finally available now and I don't have one with me yet I was gonna wait till I got one to really start uh, promoting it and showing you guys but I'll leave a link down in the description you could go click it see what it looks like it's hand-drawn I've got a, a lot of new hats coming too as well um, some real tree type camo for those of you that are into hunting still want to be an FF out there in the woods, I uh, got you covered. So I'll leave links down there in the description and next couple videos, hopefully I've got it and I can sport it and show you guys some more. But until that time, thank y'all very much for being here, subscribing to the channel, and I hope wherever you are, you're having a blessed day. Go make it a good one in the outdoors. And I'll see you guys on the next one.